Right, hello. Right. Now, there's times in there when you're building redstone, where, you know, the redstone just runs out. And ignore the um, failed attempt at um, redstone machines. But, you know, and you need uh, some repeaters, but it's just like, you don't want to spend it uh, ages waiting for a bunch of stone to smelt. So you can throw it together with uh, some redstone and some redstone torches to make a repeater. So, what do you do? Well, I have come over. Well, I don't think I've come over this, but people have already probably came over these. But you know, here's a couple of ideas uh, that I didn't look up and I just like thought of myself. There's uh, the old one where you put uh, you know some redstone down and put uh, a redstone torch on the block. And it, you know, continue on. But the problem here is um, that you would need two. So um, just break that there, that there, and there you go. Where because it's where because it should. So it's a nice little boost, and ultimately it would be cheaper because. If you're doing a really long line of redstone, because you'd have a, you'd have like the 12 blocks, then you'd have that redstone torch, but you'd have another 12 blocks, and then another, another redstone torch, where it, it, which would only cost you uh, any block, one stick, and one piece of redstone. Where if you were to do it with two redstone repeaters, that would take four redstone torches, um, six blocks uh, pieces of stone. And a uh, two and a um, two pieces of redstone. Uh, next is this one, where it's not cheaper, but it's definitely just another way you can do it. Just have like a piston open and just move a redstone block. If you want that to stay, that you could like um, replace that with a normal piston, uh, and it, uh, it would work the same. Now I tried using the new observer block. Uh, do it but it doesn't exactly work but in an interesting way though we turn it on it uh, impulse ah. when I was testing it earlier it impulsed twice maybe I'm just lagging a bit too hard to see it but when I was testing it testing it earlier oh wait, no yeah no it wasn't with the um, mat I need the button yeah so if I just do it with a button it would impulse twice. So it's just like if you want to, if you want it to uh, pulse twice, then that can be good. But unless you're losing, using a lever, not very good as a um, boost of redstone. Now here's here's where it gets a little bit more complicated. I built this little box here with some pressure plates, and underneath it, I have uh, some redstone running along underneath the red underneath the pressure plates um, to. Uh, you know, give the signal a bit of a boost. And while this does work, this can be very good in some second circumstances, but can be a bit troubling in others because this will keep on going until um, that block despawns, which which is about five, which is about five minutes, um, if I'm if I'm correct, and. Um, so it can be good if you want a timer, so that, you know, five minutes and then that'll have a door open for only five minutes. So like if you're building a map and then you have a, have a you know, have, have like a, um, uh, let me just like build something really quick. So say you're in a map and uh, you have uh, the player go collect a block of diamonds. And let's just like build this like that. Uh, put that there. And uh, get a piece of redstone. Oh, wait, no, not a piece of. Well, actually, a piece of redstone. I'm gonna need some redstone for this, but I don't need it there. I will need a redstone torch there 
So have it, uh, so you're going to need two. Um, I usually have that on top of there just in case it doesn't work. Um, so you have it so that uh, when they break that block, uh, a redstone uh, like signal goes off somewhere and just like, uh, You have stolen my diamond block. Return it now, now or be forever be shielded in uh, this tomb. And then uh, another message will come and just like, Hurry, you have five minutes uh, to escape from the dungeon. Now, obviously, this would have to be a rather big dungeon, and then otherwise it will automatically close. Now, how you would have this work, I guess, would be like, um, have some piston doors. So, let me just get some sticky pistons. And um, something to um, put, I don't know, uh, some of this. So you have the sticky pins, pistons here, and it, uh, you know, obviously it would remain open. But why did I put them down? That's just gonna block me from doing this. Right, so do, 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 do. So, you know, you have your um, piston door here, and obviously it would be concealed. And then um, you have a redstone going up, up, um, up, so that, uh, and, uh, and uh, you, you know, when, um, and, well, I don't know exactly, I can't think of right now how exactly you would get this to work. Maybe um, have it so like it's on a thing. I don't know. Uh, let me just get a redstone torch here. So have it like that so that it remains open. I don't know. So it remains open and the. Uh, then earlier on in like the map, they'd have a um, like button to put. Then you'd also oh uh, an and door gate. I can't exactly remember how to build it, but um, yeah, an and door gate. So uh, this one, I, I think I said this earlier, but just in case I didn't, this would be more for an adventure map than a more of a let's play kind of deal. So you'd have those two there, then you'd have another button like over here, a hidden button or whatever that they could find, and it, uh, then, you know, it would like deactivate them. Why? What? Oh yeah, that's still on. Hold on. Yeah. So, um, they'd find the hidden button, they'd press it, and then they'd have, you know, a certain amount of time to get through there, so. Let's just put a bit of it. Let's just put a couple of repeaters down. They press the button, and then they have a set, and then they have that amount of time to get through. That's it. I think you can actually get through, so... Yeah, there you go. And, you know, obviously all of this would be hidden. All of this redstone would be hidden. And then, uh, you know, when they break that block, obviously the voice will come out. And then, um... And then the doors would automatically open for you... For you, you know while it while the block is there. But if you don't get it back within five minutes then they just close automatically and you can't get out. That's um, what I'm thinking. Or instead of just having a solid block if you want it to be in adventure mode you could put like a um, chest there with a redstone comparator and then you know just have like the comparator go off when they open the chest or whatever. Well no trap chest, that would be a trap chest and not a redstone comparator. Um 
yeah, that's pretty much it, shit. Also, if you're wondering what that is over there, that is the final version of what that was. Um, it's just like making an automatic TNT launcher loader, which I am um, did do, and then I used it over there. And I made a big hole. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, let's see, there's two different ways that you can um, replace a uh, um, repeater, and one way and something you can uh, one way you can do it but it also leads to if you with a lever but with a button it leads to something you can do also it this will make it possible to use a lever like a button i think yeah so it also makes it uh, possible to use a lever like a button which is um handy because uh you would have to do a t flip flop with that i do believe and uh, they're not really something you can use to um, replace a, a repeater unless you want it to, to be up going for five minutes and you have like a lot of resources to just like put in a hopper. Um, but uh, you know, it's just like um, a cool little idea you can do for like a, a map or whatever. I don't know if. Uh, you know, anybody is um, really putting this out, but it, this is just like something I have uh, been thinking about because I use repeaters a lot in my um, in some in a lot of my red creating redstone red um, machines, and uh, it's uh, and uh, this is like in survival, it's they're not hard to get, but it's just like time consuming unless you have an entire system set up. Uh, automatically uh, melt, melt it. Let's actually see how much um, stone we have. So yeah, I've just done like a few uh, minutes episode and we've got full stack but you know, within the time but it is a lot faster to just do any of these and smelt up a ton of stone. Uh, the only one I say that is probably not as good as using a um, repeater is this one because uh, you'd have to craft a sticky pit piston which you'd need to make, build a slime farm for which either you would need to find a slime chunk or that be in a swamp biome and a block of redstone so yeah that this one's the most expensive out of them definitely but yeah that's the end of this uh, video uh, um just like a little quick how to um, you know, basically just build some cool stuff. Well, not build some cool stuff, but um, replace uh, uh, repeaters and redstone. See you in the next video. Bye bye.